Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a new video. In this video, we will see how we can train an artificial neural network uh, using the breast cancer dataset. So, first download the dataset from the given link in the description uh, and then we can proceed. So, if you open the dataset in Excel, then you will see something like this. Uh, this is our dataset. Okay. So, uh, in order to uh, train a neural network, first we need to uh, load the dataset into our program. So, first let's import uh, the pandas library and the numpy library. So, uh, using the uh, read csv function of the pandas library, we are reading uh, the dataset. So, this is the location where my dataset is located. And let's run this first. We will run line by line. So as you can see the import is complete okay now uh, let's see how many values are there in the diagnosis column so it so as you can see uh, if we see the data set again uh, actually the diagnosis uh, column this is our output uh, uh, this is our output class so all this data are uh, related to this class uh, based on this data the class will be predicted so uh, in our data set we have two classes one is the malignant so that is represented by m uh, and another one is benign that is represented by p so the diagnosis this is our output column keep in mind that so uh, in the output column we are counting the value of each levels uh, so for the class p we have uh, 357 entries and for m we have uh, 212 entries okay now the next step is to check uh, whether there is uh, some uh, uh, empty data null values uh, in the data set or not so if you run this function what this function do is uh, it returns an output of uh, the sum of the uh, number of empty uh, empty uh, spaces in your uh, data set so as you can see these are uh, these are the each of the columns id diagnosis if you see here this is id this is diagnosis and so on at last we see a column named unnamed 32 and it has 569 uh, uh, missing data so uh, if you look closely into the data set, you can find uh, a column by that name. So uh, this may be due to some uh, import error or maybe there are some empty spaces in the data set uh, where uh, values are not present. So this is actually not an important uh, column for our uh, classification. So we will uh, remove this uh, column from our data set. So let me show you. Let's see five rows from the top, and as you can see here, the last column is unnamed 32, and before that we have uh, fractional dimension nodes. So if we load it again, and at the last column, you can see the fractional dimension host. Uh, this is here, but uh, we have uh, we don't have the unnamed 32 column here. So this is a, a wrong data. So we need to uh, remove it from our data set. To do that, uh, we use uh, this function dot drop function df dot drop, and here we need to write uh, the name of the column that we want to drop. Uh, we are dropping two columns: uh, the name thirty two and the id column, because this is this column, the id, the first column. This is the ID of the patients that uh, this study was performed. So we don't need actually the IDs to predict whether uh, uh, the patient is um, does have cancer cells or not. So we'll uh, 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 drop this uh, column too. And axis equals to one, it means we'll drop uh, along the column axis. Axis equals to zero means along the row axis. Okay. Now. We need to separate the data into the uh, data without level and data 
with the output. So uh, x is our uh, independent variable. So here uh, we're dropping the diagnosis. Uh, we will use it to train later our model. So the diagnosis is our output class. This is our output class. So we're dropping this from the input data. And y, this is our uh, the dependent variable that will predict it, uh, that will show the output. So this is only levels. So we're uh, storing the diagnosis uh, column into the y variable. Okay. Now, here is one problem. That is, uh, the column y, uh, or the diagnosis, this is in categorical form. If you see, these are in categorical, categorical value, these are not numerical value. Uh, if you directly input this into the uh, artificial neural network model, then it will generate an output. I'll talk about this in another video. Uh, uh, but now, let's continue with how to solve this issue. To do that, we need a function called level encoder and uh, this is uh, uh, we import it from uh, sqlearn preprocessing what does this level encoder do is it converts the categorical value into uh, numerical form 0 1 or uh, uh, further so on so let's see uh, what happens first so now let's drop it and Okay, now let's see how the Y looks like. As you can see, uh, it is in categorical form. So, let's see the first 20 data. Okay, we have one benign here and many malignants. Okay, so what will happen after this? Now let's see the Y again. Uh, what uh, this function do is uh, it converts the categorical data and also it uh, transform the uh, pandas series into a numpy array. So now we cannot use this Y dot head because this is a function of the pandas library. Uh, so we need to use uh, the convention for the uh, numpy array. So we'll use, let's say we'll see the first 50 values. So as you can see, now it's been converted into one and zeros because we have only two classes. Okay, now we need to import the train test splits uh, function from sqlearn and we need to split the data into training data and test data. So the test size of the test data will be uh, 0.3 or the 30 percent. Okay. Now we need to normalize the data or as you say uh, scale the data. To do that we uh, will import the standard scalar and then we'll create an object of standard scalar and we need to fit transform and then transform the data. So let's do this and Okay, so the data scaling is done. Now we need to uh, import TensorFlow. Okay, TensorFlow is imported. Now we need to uh, design the model, the artificial neural network. So first we need to uh, 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 initialize the models inside a sequential model. So inside it uh, we have uh, three dense layers. The first one is the input layer, the second one is a one hidden layer, and the last one is the uh, output layer. So as we, uh, as our output is uh, only one, so we're providing one here, and these are, uh, the input layer have nine neurons, and the hidden layer have nine neurons, and the 30, it means, uh, input dim 30, it means we are uh, using 30 columns as input from the dataset. So now uh, let's, TensorFlow and let's design the model and now we'll see the summary of the model so this is the summary of the model and this is our total number of trainable parameters 379 okay now we'll compile the model 
will use the atom optimizer and the loss function will be binary cross entropy and the matrix will be accuracy okay now we need to train the model to train the model we'll uh, use the fit function and here we need to provide the x train and y train and the batch size is 100 and we will run it for 100 epochs okay as you can see the training is complete it's pretty first so epoch 100 out of 100 and our training accuracy is uh, 0 0.9856 or the 98.56 percent okay now we'll use our test data to see how the model is uh, performing okay now uh, we need to uh, live uh, uh, divide the data as the sigmoid function gives us a, 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 a probability so we need to separate it into 0 and 1 or true or false okay. and as you can see the output is in true or false form now we need to compare the y predict with the uh, y test the uh, test data we have uh, separated earlier uh, and we'll use it in the uh, uh, accuracy score function to find the test accuracy we need the accuracy score uh, function from the scalar dot matrix and if you want to uh, print confusion matrix you can also import it so let's import this and to uh, print the confusion ma confusion matrix you just need to use this function and you have to enter the y test and y predict uh, and to uh, find the accuracy score uh, you need to uh, do the same but using the accuracy score function okay so now let's run this and let's run the uh, print this print function this will give us the accuracy of our model so as you can see that the test accuracy is uh, 97 percent or to be accurate 97.66 percent so this is all about uh, training uh, artificial neural network for classifying the uh, breast cancer data set so i hope uh, you will find this video useful uh, please like this video and subscribe thanks for watching